how's it going? I'm Jocelyn. I think I've actually interviewed maybe a couple of you guys before in the past. Maybe on Taste of Chaos. Yeah? I think it was actually you, and according to some of my Google searching today, is today maybe your birthday? Happy birthday! I'm, so, I'm on my game, what can I say? So what are you doing for your birthday besides playing this party? Going home and sleeping. That's oh. not true. He's going to lather himself up in a Vaseline, Vaseline petroleum okay. jelly and slip around in the tub tonight by himself. That's what he does every year. Cats out of bed. Yeah. Sorry. Popular right now. But uh, tonight we're at a party, obviously, at which you all are playing. So what can we expect from the show tonight, guys? Sloppiness. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't played together for like six months. So, but it's actually going to be fun though, we're stoked. Yeah. I've seen you guys play on several occasions, Taste of Chaos a few years, and I don't know, I mean you guys will have to tell me what it is, but the fans like really go nuts. It seems like you guys have like a really close connection with your fans. How important is that to you guys and how do you go about making that connection and stuff like that? Well, we've, we've, we've been traveling and putting out records for a number of years now and uh, I think it, what it's really important for us is that we maintain that connection through communication either through the, the web or on tour, you know, talking to fans and getting in touch with them and having relationships with them. And, that's one of my favorite things about playing in Aiden is that we're not one of those bands that had a radio hit and everyone bought the record and then next year no one cares. You know, we've been touring consistently and have seen the same kids coming to our shows and showing up and telling their friends and it's really solid and dedicated and they're amazing. our fan base is amazing. So. so having a fan base like that, I'm sure you have the opportunity to, you know, inspire people to do things or, you know, Obviously, this is a positive organization. What's your message to your fans about, you know, doing something positive, or do you even do that at all? Well, I, I guess maybe the biggest message that we try to convey is that no matter what color your skin is, or what religion you belong to, or how smart you are, or what status you have in the community, that you're accepted at one of our shows, and it, it doesn't matter if you have money, or, you know, if you're cool, or, or if you're not cool. You have a place to come when we're in town that's safe and you can be yourself and you don't have to show up and pretend to be something you're not. So why Music Saves Lives? What attracts you guys to Music Saves Lives? I know I've interviewed you guys before, or you, for sure. The blood. The, the blood. blood. The blood. We like the blood. Happy birthday! 21, perhaps? Tonight's the big two. 22. Oh my gosh, over the hill. Well, you guys, I'm just, I'm just kidding. If, I'm, if you're over the hill, like, I'm on the next hill or something. Yeah, exactly. Well, you guys have fun tonight. Thank you so much. Take care. Yes, I will shake their hands. Swine flu, perhaps. I hope not. I hope not, yes. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Want to find out how you can go backstage and hang out with some of your favorite bands at this year's Vans Warped Tour? Check out musicsaveslives.org.